was uh, maybe put my focus into some other things, you know, for a couple of years and started up a business and did some work for uh, the VW group back in the day. And uh, yeah, no, it's just good to be back and uh, doing this full time. And, and again, just grateful to be here with, uh, with Ryan Motorsports, First Form. Uh, I've been with these guys now for seven years and uh, it's a real pleasure. You're settled here in America now. Yeah, this, uh, I don't think I'll ever move back. <laughs> That's Jan Halen from Belgium. Here's a little one. Yeah. What's the similarity between Sim Sutton and Jan Halen? Um, They've both won struggling. the Porsche Cup. OK. For the most successful driver at cross points across the whole season. Very good knowledge. Sim was a very probably wrong, but I, it seems to bring a bell in my mind at least. So we'll yeah, no, it's good. Run with that. Uh, three wins last year in the Michelin Pilot Challenge for Jan Halen together with uh, partner, uh, race partner Brian Hardwick, who is the bronze in this endurance car as well. They took seven podiums last season and three pole positions as well uh, in their Porsche 718 Cayman, the GT4 CS, as opposed to the uh, Daytona 24 car, which of course is the GT3 uh, R, the 911 GT3 R from Wright Motorsports. So Zach Robichon. Uh, Richard Leitz, who put in a really good stint to keep the 16 car in the mix last time around. And uh, it's still actually Leitz driving that. Let's just have a little look. No, uh, Robichon took over uh, and uh, now leads the class from Spencer Pompelli in the 44 Aston Martin. Now, neck and neck between the two Acuras and Philly Balbuca willing the car on, pointing in the direction he wants to go. Did he get by? A, oh, a, oh, was there some contact actually with a Porsche on the run down towards turn one, Bruce? Well, what happened there? He, Albuquerque was on the outside, Tom Blomfitz on the inside.